People should always come to the landfill and see it. You should stand at the top of the landfill and look around and, you know, it looks like the highest part in the region and you're standing on years of people's garbage. There's a former landfill, it's a Kitchener landfill. It was closed in 73, it's that like 50 years now that it's been actually closed. So we were upgrading a bunch of landfill gas collection infrastructure. And so with that, we had to dig back into the, to the garbage and, you know, just walking out there. I always find it very interesting to see what's in the waste when you dig it up. It's a bit of an archive. And I was walking by and there was this folded up newspaper and I opened it up and it was from the 70s. And the thing that surprised me the most and it always surprised me, like every time I see a newspaper there, you can open it up and start turning the pages and read it like it hasn't been buried for 50 years. I think what really hits home is that things, when you put it in your garbage, it goes away from your curb and you think it's gone, right? But the thing is, is that it never goes away. <laughs> it sounds cliche, but I've always loved the environment. I wanted to do something in my life that helped the environment and made it so that my kids and, and their kids could still play outside, play in the dirt, play in the ponds and enjoy that kind of stuff. We're getting something in the store and thinking, do I actually need this? What is the packaging it's coming in? Because it just doesn't go away. It doesn't go away.